everybody, it's me, Nemeister Hunswijk, and today I'm coming to you with another tutorial, a themed tutorial. I uh, posted a look on my Facebook a couple of days ago, maybe already a week, and I got a couple of questions about how I made uh, the fake wound, uh, the bruises, and whatsoever. So um, I thought, why not film a tutorial for it? And I promised more themed looks on my channel, so um, here it is. So yeah, if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you gotta do. Bye! Hey guys, so I started out with applying a foundation uh, for this crazy look. I started with a uh, black up foundation and I'm not really sure what color I got. I'll leave the correct color of course below in the information box. I think it's FL02, I'm not sure, but uh, black up foundation. I chose this A because it's way too pale for me. This was in my uh, foundation experiences time when I tried to figure out what my foundation was and a uh, great foundation um, for black people, sort of say, here in the Netherlands. And <laughs> as you can see, it's way off, but luckily for this look, it's perfect. I chose it because it has also a grayish undertone and since I want to create the illusion that I've been locked up in the dark for months and months and months so you don't get any color or don't get any sun whatsoever you get the idea I use this foundation well if black up is not available in the US or any other country you could use Stila as you can see it's completely empty but Luckily, I found uh, the bottle so I could show you what I meant with it. You could use this Stila One Step Foundation, or makeup, it says. Um, you can use this in a lighter shade, and uh, I got this in Deep 08. I used this as my foundation a while ago, uh, but it's a little bit too light for me. But it also has that grayish undertone, so this could be a um, good substitute for you. You're going to need liquid latex. Uh, I'm using one from uh, Cryolon. Uh, the website I got it from will be below in the information box of course. But I'm going to use this. And uh, I'm going to use the toilet paper or tissue paper, whatever you want to call it, method. Now before I'm going to start this whole tutorial, I just want to tell you guys just a little bit more information. So if you don't care for the information, just skip to the part where I start my tutorial. But uh, I'm going to use the tissue paper method. Now for myself, I've already, you know, made some pieces for my wound. So I'm going to make one here and one on my cheek. Um, what I actually did is just take toilet paper. And the best thing is to have toilet paper without any uh, figures on it, you know, as in um, prints on it. Just plain toilet paper. Sadly enough, I got the toilet paper that was textured, but you get the idea. Just plain toilet paper without any textures on it is the best. So, what I did is took apart the layers, so two layers, and I uh, just tore off some pieces that were kind of in a wound shape. That's the idea. And um, you can make as many wounds as you want. I'm just going to make two just to recreate, kind of recreate the look I did for my Facebook page. And then later on in this uh, video I'm going to put in my lenses and I'm using the Barbie Eye Super Nudie Grays. So one of them. And then I'm going to use uh, the kimchi or eye fairy, no wait, eye fairy, I'll leave the correct name below in the information box, but eye fairy lenses in red and in one eye. So just mixing these together. Um, also when you're going to apply liquid latex, use brushes that you don't really care for. So th synthetic brushes you can buy at a craft store because liquid latex ruins your brushes. Okay, finally we're going to start with this tutorial. Uh, so what I already did was apply that foundation to my entire face. Uh, I didn't draw on my eyebrows because this is going to be my insane look. And I thought that my crazy eyebrows would even add more to the look. Also, I did not really try to conceal my, um, you know, flaws in my face, as in my scarring. 
because that's also going to add to the look. So if you have scarring whatsoever, don't try to cover them up completely. Some coverage is fine, but don't cover it up completely. So yeah, I put some latex on my brush and I have one piece of a wound I'm going to apply to my face. So I'm going to keep it like this and apply the latex completely over that toilet paper. Okay, so that's one layer. Now I'm taking a second piece and I'm applying that over it. And since latex is sticky, um, it apply. You can just now put it on like this and don't have to hold it anymore. Do that same process again. Apply that liquid latex on top of it. And what I'm going to do now is apply one more sheet. Just I'm going to repeat the same thing one more time. So here's my sheet. I'm applying that over it. So now I applied those layers, uh, so three layers on my skin, on my face. And what I'm doing now is letting it dry just a little bit, uh, just so I won't tear up all the uh, toilet paper from that wound because, you know, I want it torn up, but not too much that there's nothing left. So I'm just going to wait and let it dry a little bit. And actually, while that is drying on my face a little bit more, I'm going to take a clear brow gel from MAC. And uh, this is called clear. <laughs> and what I'm doing is actually running that through my brows. Because, you know, my brows, the hairs are laid flat. And even though they are short and weird, um, they are not weird enough for me. They need to be a little bit more frizzled up. <laughs> so I'm just running that through my brow hairs, combing them up and against the grain of the hair, if I had to say it like that. As you can see it's a little bit more frizzled. Okay, so now the brows are done. I'm actually going to tear a hole in this weird ass toilet paper. Um, I'm going to use tweezers for this. Uh, you can use whatever sharp, or not sharp, but pointy tool you have. Um, of course, make sure you're not going to jab it in your cheek or whatever, because then you'll bleed for real and you can take this off. So be careful and just uh, tear open that uh, piece of toilet paper you covered in latex and make a wound, a shape. It's not that difficult to tear it open. And I'm rolling open, like rolling those sides of the wound um, outwards because, I don't know, that kind of gives more as if the flesh is like rolled back and whatsoever. Okay, so now we have that open spot. Now obviously what you're going to do is apply some uh, foundation over it. So you can use the foundation you used for your face, you know, that pale foundation, or you can use a shade darker since this is a white base. You have to treat this as a white base, just like your eyeshadow. So you can go a, you know, shade darker, whatever. But I'm going to use that same foundation just to save time. And because, you know, I'm, I'm going to cover this up with um, bruises and whatsoever, so it won't be that noticeable. Okay, so now I covered that wound uh, lightly with that same foundation I used for my face. Um, I applied it so that the wound actually is still a little bit visible, as in the, um, how do you say, the texture. Because I want to create the illusion that the wound is a little bit older, the skin started to wrinkle, so that torn off skin. You know, you can make it as crazy as you want. You can completely do whatever you feel like. So... 
I'm taking that uh, rainbow circle, <laughs> the black eyes body makeup from Kryolan. And what I'm going to do is use this color. So that kind of plum, plum color, purple color, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take this one first and a clean makeup sponge. I'm just applying that around that wound first. Not worrying about blending first. I'm just applying that roughly. Don't know if you can see it properly, but I applied some of that uh, dark purple around the bruise already. And what I'm going to do next is use this color of the wheel, using that same sponge, only the other side, taking a little bit, and I'm going to mix that around the places where I applied that uh, previous color. Once you have that going a little bit, uh, I'm going to start with that uh, fresh scratch fr um, blood effect from Kryolan. And again, a brush I really don't use or care for too much because this will ruin your brushes as well. So mainly I'm just pushing my brush into that gooey mixture and I'm going to apply it in the wound. So, everywhere. Like so. Okay, so now I've done that. Obviously, I told you guys I'm gonna do, uh, gonna do another wound over here. Um, I'm gonna do that later since I've explained step by step how I did this wound now. Basically, it's the same idea, only on a different place and it's a little bit smaller. So you can do that for yourself, now you know how to do this. So what I'm gonna do now is go back in with that same black eye palette, effect palette, whatever, from uh, Kryolan. Can you tell I have not used this as much, since I do not know the names on the top of my head? But I'm gonna go back in with that uh, palette, and with that same sponge I used before. And what I'm gonna do now Supply this color underneath my eye. I'm blending it down. I'm blending it down and I'm applying it. I'm you I'm just doing this as I would do my eyeshadow. I'm going in my crease with that sponge and feather it out. Taking this color again, so that darkest one in that palette, applying a little of it underneath my eye, blending it down in my crease, and also feathering it out. So from the tip over here, feathering it out. Then I'm taking that same color again, so this one, and I'm going to apply it over here. Applying it, pushing it down. And stippling. That's all I'm doing. And this just counts as bruises, uh, starting bruises, uh, older bruises, whatsoever. You can make it, again, as crazy as you want. But what I'm also going to do is take that color again on that sponge and I'm going to apply it around my mouth, like so. Now again, taking that darker color, also applying it a little bit over that kind of purplish color. But we're not completely done yet because now I'm taking a brush and this is just a nameless brush, small eyeshadow brush. You can use whatever you have. Taking that, this color again on that brush. 
and I'm gonna apply it on my mouth. And work and brushing that color up. And I'm doing the same on the lower part. But then brushing it down. Taking that fresh scratch again from uh, Kryolan and that same brush I used to apply it, taking a little bit, and I'm applying that in the corner of my mouth, not in my mouth, but just on that corner. So I only applied it on one side of my mouth and a little bit on the center of my mouth uh, since I already have that big scar or big wound on my other side. Uh, what I'm going to do now is quickly make that wound on my head and I will be right back. Okay, so now that that is done, uh, I applied that wound on my head already. Um, you can go ahead and actually put in your circle lenses or lenses whatever lens pair you're gonna use. Okay, so I'm gonna take the red one, so one red circle lens, uh, in my left eye. I'm sorry that I talked so weirdly, but this stuff here is still drying, so... Uh, and then the gray one in my right eye. Hey guys, so I put on my wig and got my lenses in, like I said before, and put on my white shirt. And that was it for the look, really. It's super easy. It's easy when you have like this last minute um, makeup look for Halloween or what we have here in the Netherlands Carnival, even though that was yesterday. Very smart of me. Whatever. <laughs> it's super easy. It is a little bit pricey if you just started out doing makeup because you have to buy the liquid latex, the bruise product, uh, you know, the fake blood whatsoever. But in the end it is easy to do and that's why I did this tutorial so I hope you had fun uh, for the wig I got this uh, from styleillusions.com you may know this wig as the destiny wig but I cut the wig and then combed all the curls out and then for this tutorial obviously I frizzed up the hair a little bit more so that is the wig actually now for this look <laughs> and uh, for the shirt it's just a cheap shirt that you can buy at say mom so thank you all for watching and obviously until the next video bye